in the spirit for the Lord. I can't turn down. Talking too much bread. Time for you to learn now. Up to what they hear and they offend if you don't get now. Brother in the brother in the uh black, come up. Was it Dante? Yeah. Come over here for a second, man. We going over. So what y'all talking about? No, we just talk about the, the image of Christ every day. Okay, all praises. So you know, so stay with me, stay with me too, brother. We, so we already know that this image right here is false, incorrect. False, 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 false. So now, what and what does God look like? Actually, he's my confession. Exactly. So now, what, what, what do we read then? Well, in this book, that's to show you right here. But he don't have white hair. That's made up too. No, well, that's what. Remember, that's what the Bible says. So Christ to gave you. Go back to the scripture real quick. You can't believe everything the Bible. So now, but what do we read about Christ then? Well, oh, all right, brother, you got the flyer, right? Make sure you read over there. All right, well, what, what you saying, brother? I was saying is this. Well, Jesus had skin and bread, hair and wood. Exactly. He's from the tribe. You know, he's Hebrew. He, right? he said what? He's Hebrew, right? Exactly. Hebrew's a language. And a lot of people were Hebrew. Right. So, white hair image, that's not her. That's his it. Read it. Go back that's to that real quick. That's what the Bible said. But that's what, exactly. Because where do we get our information from? Is it, are we, do we, where, where do we get our information about Christ from? Is it from the Bible or is it from our own minds? I own mine too. Nah, because the Bible documents everything about Christ. Right. We're gonna read. We're gonna read. I wanna read it. Deuteronomy. I mean, but Revelations. Man -made too, though. Nah, it's not man-made. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show Bring you. Bring it out. out. The Book of Revelation, chapter one, and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus of Christ. Go jump to verse fourteen. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. Okay, jump to verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs. Were white like wool because Christ, the hair on his head and hair on his face was white and woolly. Why? Because when he 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 kind of looked just like the father. When he when he died, he went he came back and he said his hair was white. So now that's what the Bible says. I can't argue with that. Who, so what? So what? So how do you get the? How do you know that Christ is black? But then when the Bible says white, how do you differentiate what's man made and what's not? How do you get that? And scientifically, black people came first. The dark genes take. Well, the Bible says that. It says Genesis, right? But now, what, you say that the Bible was meant. Give me, give me who wrote the Bible. Give me the uh, Psalms, Psalm 68. Let's see who wrote the scriptures, right? Because, because I think your confusion is right. You go, you, you, you believe in one part of the Bible, but then you say you, did, you don't believe another part. Yeah. And I don't understand how do you how do you believe one part of something but don't believe the other part? Because then you that, that, if you don't believe one part, that means the whole thing has to be a lie. Right. If there's a if there's one lie in the Bible, that makes the whole Bible a lie. No, so that is I can't be true. Some is real, some is fake. Just the way it no, is. This, this, it's all real. Read no, that. Can't say that. The book of Psalms. Chapter 68 and verse 11. Huh? The Lord gave the word. So the Lord gave this word. No, man, man didn't think about this. He didn't give prophecies of what was going to happen thousands of years ago. Man didn't come up with that. The Lord gave this. Go ahead. Great was the company of those that published it. And it was a great company of brothers like Jeremiah, Hosea, is uh, Nehemiah. These are men who God gave the word to and they wrote it down. Exactly. That's what happened. Exactly. So now God it's gave this word. Man that wrote it down. Exactly. Hey, because, and where, but where did they get it from? Where did they get it from? No, they got it from, read it again. The Lord gave the word. Brother, who gave the word? This is what the Bible says. Who who, did, who gave the word? Brother, what book on this earth is not man written? Bring it out. So you don't believe no books? I believe some of it, partial of it. So, oh, so, but it's all man written. So why don't why are you believe in some of it? Y'all saying that y'all God chosen people, right? No, that's what the Bible says. It says right. The Spanish Native Americans are the Israelites. But according to the book that y'all wrote, think about it. Who? But our brothers and sisters, yeah, who gave, God gave this word to them and they wrote it down. No book on this earth is not written by a man. But God gave the understanding. He's the one who gave the words to write down. That's what the Bible, read it again. Give me the one written with the finger of God. What's that one? Deuteronomy that 9? Too. That not real. Give me Deuteronomy 9. Because we, because now if you going around saying, hey, well, I believe in this part of the book and I don't believe in this part, that means you believe in whatever you want to believe in. Right. Because now whatever you disagree with, you're gonna, you're just gonna say, no, I don't believe in that part. No, we, I believe in the whole thing. Right. What God wrote down, that's what we're gonna follow. That's but right. You, but when you put yourself above God and you say, hey, whatever I agree with, I'm gonna believe in, that means you don't believe at all. You, you agreeing with yourself. Because anything that you disagree with, you're, yeah. you're gonna be like it's man written. That yeah. makes no sense. That makes that makes no sense. I'm gonna read this. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter nine and verse ten. The Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone. So when this word was originally given, who gave it to him? The Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone. So yes, this God delivered this. Go ahead. 
written with the finger of God. Who wrote it? Written with the finger of God. So it was written. Who wrote, who wrote the Bible? Read it again. The Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone. Huh? Written with the finger of God. So God wrote this word. Right. So now and today we got the word right here from God. Right. Read it again. Read one more time. I don't think you're listening to. The Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone. Huh? Written with the finger of God. So when the Bible was first given, who wrote it? Uh, I said, man, me. Read it again. <laughs> the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Brother, if you're talking, you're not being able to listen to it. He's right. written with the finger of God. God wrote this. God wrote this. Yes, it, yes, it did, brother. Is it said God wrote that thing? What? No. Did you see it from your own eyes? So now go back to that uh, Deuteronomy. So now did our people go into slavery on slave ships? Let me ask you that. Yeah, we already know that. So now is that written in the Bible? Yes. that's historical. So now is that is, is that wrong? Or, no, you say is the, is the Bible is that man written? Because you just said our people went into slavery, right? So now is that's a prophecy in the Bible? Yes. So now the Bible did the Bible prophesy that? So now how in the heck can one part of it, you just said the Bible had already prophesied that, so that means it's true. So you agree that the Bible is true? Some of it, not all of it. That's what I'm trying to say. Some of it is man Brother, made. give me that real quick. You What's the unstable man? You going by what he read and what he heard. It. But how did you know that? You got that? And you got this chart. This chart not real. James that chart not real. Brother, I'm going to show you something. He's not an Israelite. He's not an Israelite. Brother, you going all oh, over the man. place. First, first you saying, hey, the Bible, I believe in this yeah, one part. part. Now I don't believe in this part. That makes no... If you don't believe in the whole thing, then that means you don't believe in it at all. That's you can't believe in it because you saying, I don't agree with this part. This the chart is wrong. Then give it true understanding. And you don't really know. Right, right, right. Yeah. Read that real quick. You got that? The book of James, chapter 1 and verse 8. A double-minded man. Brother, you're double-minded. Right now you're being you're saying, hey, I believe in it, but then I don't believe in it. That's double-minded. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Brother, when you're double-minded, you're unstable in all your ways. Everything that you do, you're gonna be unstable. Right. So God is letting you know right there, brother, that's incorrect. That's you can't believe right. in one part of the book and say, oh, well now I don't agree with this part. So now do you keep the commandments? You don't. Exactly. You don't either. You don't either. You don't keep the commandments. The read to get that. Because brother, now you don't because you don't believe in the Bible. So you you just say you don't believe. Read this commandment you kept today by criticizing. Read, read this. I'm teaching you right now. That's that's, that's the commandment. Read that. The book of First Timothy, chapter six and verse twenty. Oh Timothy, keep that which committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babbling. Brother, you gotta avoid profane, vain babbling. You're babbling about a lot of different stuff, and you're not making, you're not being coherent with your words. And opposition of science. And opposition of science. You said something about science earlier. You said something about you believe in, you believe in science. Scientific stuff, and then you say, I believe in parts of the Bible, and this, that's double minded, that's unstable. Go ahead. Falsely so called. Falsely so called. Which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Brother, you're erring concerning the faith. You're, you're in error right now. So, first thing you gotta do is acknowledge, hey, I'm wrong, I'm in error, I'm double minded, and I'm that's right. every way. And then you gotta come back and keep God's commandments. Until you keep the commandments, you're never gonna understand what this Bible is talking right. about. That's, what you're, that's where you're confused at. Until you, give me that real quick in Psalms. Until you keep the commandments, brother, you're not gonna understand the Bible and you're gonna go each and every place. You're gonna say, hey, Christ is black. Uh, I believe the scripture where he says he's black, but yet the, white, the part about white hair, for whatever reason, I don't believe. No, that's not true. What makes it not true? Because you don't. He ain't hair. Brother, they, he see, they, you double minded. You are saying, but you are okay. voting. That's, that's a bunch of questions you that's babbling back and forth. That's your opinion. Read that real quick. That's the book of Psalms, chapter 111, and verse 10. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Brother, how do you begin to get wisdom? How do you begin to get wisdom? You know what I'm saying? Simple question. God gave us a clear, simple answer. He said, how do you begin to get wisdom? If you won't really understand what the Bible's saying, he's asked you, how do you get wisdom, brother? Can you answer the question for me? Like I just said, once again, the church what, of faith. Um, ask, a, a, answer, my, answer my question. How do you begin to get wisdom? You get wisdom by your mind. Read it again. 
The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Brother, how do you begin to get wisdom? I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm, I'm letting you talk. I just, no, they're not even speaking to you. Now I'm asking you, how do you begin to get wisdom? Brother, answer my question. How do you begin to get wisdom? Read it. Read it. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of our day that doeth his commandment. Brother, how do you get a good understanding of the Bible? It's simple by reading it, but that all that's that's not not the read it again. See, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of our day that do his commandments. Brother, how do you get an understanding of the Bible? How do you get understand? You said you don't believe in it, but you believe in it, but you don't believe in some part. That is double mind. That's confusion. That's confusion, brother. That's not being realistic because you don't. So you don't believe in the Bible at all. That's what you're saying. I didn't say that. That's what you. That's what you're saying. So now, do you believe in this part that I just read? No, I don't. Because you don't agree with it. So you're never gonna get anywhere because whatever you don't like, you're not gonna keep reading that again. The Book of Psalms, chapter one, eleven, and verse ten. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding of our day that do his commandments. Brother, you're never going to have a good understanding of the Bible until you actually keep the commandments. Right. That's the only way to understand yeah. it. The fact that you don't keep the commandments is why you're double-minded right now and why you're confused. That's right there. That same mentality is what's keeping our people in oppression. Because we refuse to go by what God says. We like to think about what we like. You said, that, give me that real, go back to Mark 7. You just said that, hey, I got to go back to what my mind says. I get an understanding of God by thinking what I think. But God says inside your brain, brother, is evil. That's what's inside your brain. That's why you're coming up with all these machinations. Read that, uh, Mark 7. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. For, for from within, out of the heart of men, Proceed evil thoughts. Saying that part of the Bible is real and the other part is not, and I believe in this piece of the verse, and then this piece of the verse I don't believe in, that's evil. Read. Right. Adulterers, fornicators, fornications, murderers, death, covetousness, wickedness. Brother, you gotta, first you gotta keep the commandments. Go ahead. Proverbs 3 and 5. Who said that, brother? You said that. Who, read, read that, Proverbs 3 and 5. The brother, read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Brother, you got to trust in the Lord. You trust in yourself. That's right. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Stop leaning onto your own understanding, brother. I'm trying to help you. I'm right. saying this because you're my brother. I love you and I want you to repent. That's I right. I want you to get yourself right. But as long as you keep thinking, hey, whatever I think is right, you're not going to get nowhere. Read that again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, huh? and lean not unto that, unto thy own understanding. Don't lean unto your own understanding. Read. In all thy ways, acknowledge Him. In all your ways, you have to acknowledge God. Not That's right. word, not a, a puzzle. Not you. Got to go back to the whole thing and keep it. You, as long as you don't do that, you're not gonna understand. Read. Right. And He shall direct, direct thy path. God will direct your path then. That's the only way you're going to be able to uh, keep the, uh, understand the Bible is by applying the laws. That's it. If you don't do that, you'll never understand the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.